Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre. Today we're making the Virus Vodka Apocalypse Cocktail. They mentioned about the apocalypse in their description. Why not make an apocalypse cocktail? This is going to be definitely have a lot of sweetness to it, a lot of sour notes. But the concept behind this, it's a zombie apocalypse in a sense. Because you're going to have the green, rotting flesh of the zombie with the trickling blood that's still on their body. So there's definitely going to be a lot of visual appeal to it. We're going to have some blood orange juice with a blood orange garnish. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to try this out. I just kind of designed this on the fly. But it's going to be good. It's kind of loosely based off my Warcraft uh, Forsaken Elixir cocktail. It's very similar. But I use Bacardi 151 and a few other things in there. But it's mostly the same. Minus the fact that I didn't have pineapple juice in the original. But I did have Mountain Dew. But I wind up using a Sprite in the secondary version. But it's similar. The idea of zombies are making an apocalypse cocktail. Now you also can check out yesterday's episode. I did a full review on the Virus Vodka. It's a very interesting product if you can get a hold of it as I mentioned. Right now it's only available in Texas. It's expanding out hopefully soon. As they say the virus is spreading. And I can't wait till it actually makes its way to the shore in, in Jersey. But this one is definitely going to be sweet. A little bit of tropical flavors. Definitely a little sour tart notes to it, but it's going to be interesting. I'll show you exactly how this is made. First thing you want to do is you want to take two ounces of your virus vodka. And I'll tell you one thing, I love this bottle. When this is gone, which hopefully is a while from now, I'm keeping this bottle. Maybe turn it to lamp or something. I just love how it looks. And for these, well, then again, if you're drinking much of alcohol, cocktails, you're not exactly health conscious. But for those of you who are, that is gluten free. A lot of people like that. You want to take an ounce of melon liqueur. ounce of sour mix. Let's give it a shake first. You know, already at one point, you have Midori Sour in there. It's the same concept of Midori Sour, a little extra kick with the vodka. So this has so many bases of the cocktail, but it's definitely be really interesting to try it out. And you also want to take an ounce of your pineapple. It's going to help give it that frothy, thick look to it. You want to take that, shake it up. Bring it in. And you want to take two ounces of your Mountain Dew. Take your blood orange. That's something I love about blood oranges, especially these ones. It's deep, dark red. It's pretty damn cool. I'm gonna take part of that for your garnish. And take the rest. Squeeze it above. Drink. And 
there you have it. The Apocalypse Cocktail featuring Virus Vodka. So one thing I'm already liking about this, just the way the blood orange just oozes down there. It gives it that bleeding, infected look. Kind of like what I did with my my Dead Island Ice Tea, which is really cool if you ever get a chance to check it out. I'll put a link below or I'll put a graphic at the end of this so you can definitely find it. But it's definitely going to have a sweet flavor to it. It's really good. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It definitely has that tart note. It's definitely has a bit of a tropical appeal to it. Because you're adding, obviously, the pineapple juice. Everything else kind of gives it that Midori flavor with the tart melon. And you're also getting the Mountain Dew works really well. And you're getting a lot of citrus out of that. One thing also about the blood oranges, it does have a more of a tart, sweeter flavor compared to a standard orange. It has a really good effect to it. It's actually really flavorful. There's also the virus vodka has a little bit of a sweet flavor, so that helps amplify it a little bit more. It's way different than if you were to use like a standard vodka. I definitely want to suggest using the standard vodka. If you can get a hold of the virus vodka, definitely use it. It's definitely going to be the idea of the apocalypse cocktail. It's going to be very flavorful. You will not be disappointed. If you want to try the cocktail, but you really can't get a hold of virus vodka, use maybe a grape base or more of a a gluten-free vodka, something that doesn't have that grainy, like, barley and potato flavor. You want something that's a nice, clean, you can put some Ciroc in there. That kind of be about the same idea. But virus vodka, it's so much better. Get it, use it. If not, then you go the other route. But definitely suggest you try this out. Be sure to visit virusvodka.com. You can actually find their full story on there. You can find other cocktails that they designed find different press releases everything it's definitely worth checking into but i hope you enjoyed this cocktail be sure to like us on facebook on slash spirit cocktails subscribe to our channel send your submissions i'm always looking forward to them you'll find a link below and as always drink responsibly